So the COVID-19 virus is a respiratory virus. And if someone's infected with this virus uh, and they cough, they can uh, cough the virus out into droplets. Now, these droplets can uh, infect other people by a couple of different mechanisms. One way is if someone's very, very close to an ill individual and they cough, the droplets can go right onto that person if they're very, very close. And if the droplets with the virus in them touch their eyes or mouth or nose, that person can get infected. Another way people can get infected is if someone coughs up uh, the virus and, and the virus droplets land on a surface. It's sometimes uh, the virus can live on surfaces. We're not entirely sure for how long. It's probably a couple of hours to a couple of days depending on the surface. If someone touches that surface and they get the virus on their hands and then they touch their eyes or nose or mouth, they can get infected with the virus that way. So it's usually from either respiratory droplets directly or indirectly through contact. Travelers can take a few different precautions to reduce the risk of getting uh, COVID-19 infection. Uh, number one is impeccable hand hygiene. We know that airplanes are able to carry lots of different people in a, in a small or confined area and uh, certainly surfaces might be contaminated not just with this virus but any other virus or other types of infection. So impeccable hand hygiene is key. The second thing that people can do is that if they're coughing or sneezing they can cough and sneeze into their arm rather than into the air around them or onto their hands where they'll start to contaminate other surfaces. So it's really important that people cough and sneeze into their arm. The third thing that people can do is we have to be very mindful about where our hands are and people tend to touch their face a lot. They touch their eyes, their nose, their mouth and of course if your hands are on some high contact surface there's always a chance that they can pick up a virus or something on that surface and of course you can infect yourself by touching your eyes, your nose, or mouth. So be mindful about not touching your face. So three things. One, cough or sneeze into your arm. Two, be mindful about not touching your face. And three, impeccable hand hygiene. It's actually really clean. I mean, there are filters in the aircraft to really ensure that the air quality is of the highest quality. And, uh, and these are the air is filtered on a very regular basis. So the air quality is, there should be no issues with air quality on aircrafts whatsoever. I think we have to be very careful. We have to be very mindful about what masks can do and what masks don't do. We have to remember that if someone is ill, and they wear a mask, it will be helpful and that can help prevent the spread of an infection to those around them. But if people do not have an infection, wearing a mask doesn't really help reduce one's risk of getting an infection. So the masks are very helpful in preventing sick people from spreading an infection, but they're not helpful if someone has no infection. It does not further prevent someone from getting an infection. The risks of catching a virus on a flight are remarkably small. There's some really good data to back this up as well and, uh, and some really good medical studies that have been performed on airplanes in real time. Of course, you know, it's still important to be mindful of hand hygiene. These are high contact surfaces with lots of individuals uh, traveling in and out of aircraft. So of course we have to be mindful of hand hygiene. We have to be respectful, uh, respectful of others and we don't want to cough or sneeze into the air. We should be coughing and sneezing into our arms. And of course we have to be mindful about not touching our face or eyes or nose or mouth, especially when our hands are on some high contact surfaces. But in general, the risk of acquiring an infection during air travel is remarkably small. No, I mean, I think that's a little outlandish. People should definitely not stop traveling. Certainly, we know that we're in the middle of a COVID-19 infection. We know how this can be transmitted. But of course, we know that the risk of transmitting this infection on an airplane is remarkably small. In fact, there's even some data that was uh, recently published in, uh, in the, the medical literature demonstrating a person with a COVID-19 infection traveling on a commercial airline and nobody on that airplane uh, was infected with the virus. So the risk is extraordinarily small and of course with uh, a few precautions people take, namely good hand hygiene and of course if people have to cough or sneeze ensuring that they cough and sneeze into their arm and not into the, not into the air around them, uh, you know, we can really reduce the risk of, of other people getting infected if we're in close quarters with one another.